the topic of this evening's debate is refugees in America. And really the importance is um, to sort of send a message about our shared humanity. Um, so there's a big political discussion in America today about the, the presence of, of refugees and their respective status within American society. Questions about why are folks coming here? What's happening in their home countries? How are they being treated? How should they be treated? What's the appropriate way of engaging refugees in American society today? So those are some of the questions that we'll probe. Resolved that the United States federal government should prioritize foreign aid to Central American countries over refugee admission. This debate is about f giving foreign aid and refugee resettlement in the U.S. And I'm, on, I'm representing the foreign aid side. Yeah, I haven't really been on a stage. Usually when we debate, it's a room of five people, the judge, your two opponents, and your, you and your partner. It's just a lot of practice because at first I was like, I could never look up, and now it's like I can look up most of every other sentence. When we target aid effectively, we can fight corruption. For example, whistleblower protections, police training, and democratic reforms. By sending this aid to Central American countries, it will help the country entirely. Aid supplies money, job training, and economic specialists. These countries need our help, and foreign aid can accomplish this goal. I'm arguing for bringing the refugees into America. I learned about how like all these refugees in Guatemala and Sarah and all like at the border how uh, how sick they are and like all about uh, these corrupt uh, leaders and politicians and I didn't even know about that. It's important for young people to be able to think critically and so these uh, current events issues are issues around which critical thought and dialogue and debate can take place in a constructive way and this is um, also a civics lesson for, for young people giving foreign aid to Central America for over a decade. If foreign aid could actually work, we would have seen like a slight change in how foreign aid is actually helping, but we've, we've seen nothing. And if we've seen nothing, then we are doing foreign aid for no reason. Central American countries have received a lot of foreign aid over the past few years. Can you point to any examples of that aid working? Yes, there was a study done by Amnesty International of a murder rate in Honduras and how with the help of foreign aid, the murder rate had declined. It's definitely helped me to grow. It's gave me a lot more experience. It's gave me skills that I didn't think I'd have without debate, like a lot faster critical thinking, uh, research, and finding the right things to use. When I started debate, I was like really quiet and like soft-spoken, but when I started doing it more, I became way more confident in myself and I learned all these speaking skills that I know now today. I hope people will accept what's presented with an open mind, that they'll be open to new perspectives and, and new ideas. We have a panel discussion with experts on immigration and refugees following the debate among the, the, the students. So that they bring um, kind of seasoning to the discussion. We hope that people will, again, approach this evening with, with an open mind and an open heart and sort of rethink whatever their fixed positions may be.